Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content process and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is collaboration, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content records, and business processes. This module is one of two to discuss the major enabling collaboration technologies. Part of the Collaborate and Deliver Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program, it will talk about shared workspaces, wikis, and virtual conferencing. Collaboration is the practice of working together to achieve a defined and common business purpose. It exists in two forms. Synchronous, where everyone interacts in real time, as in online meetings, through instant messaging or via Skype. And asynchronous, where the interaction can be time-shifted, as when uploading documents or annotations to shared workspaces or making contributions to a wiki. Shared workspaces are among the most visible entries in the collaboration space, aimed at rolling document and application sharing up with chat and perhaps versioning and other auditing capabilities. They may have more or fewer features and may be available either for license or on a syndicated basis in the cloud, as they say. Google Docs is a notable example of the latter, while Microsoft SharePoint and EMC Documentum eRoom or examples of the former. Perhaps best thought of as online encyclopedias or how-to manuals, wikis are applications that let users freely create, edit, and reorganize content using a web browser. Perhaps the most visible example of this breed is Wikipedia, and variants exist throughout enterprises of all kinds and sizes. The plus and the minus of wikis are that more or less anyone can enter more or less anything into the resource. So while they're a great way to capture and share what people know, they also must be vetted to ensure nothing erroneous gets planted within, intentionally or otherwise. The good news is that over time, active wikis tend to be of fairly high quality due to the self-policing nature of an engaged user base. Virtual conferencing is a broad term that encompasses numerous ways to allow people to participate in meetings from separate locations. The tools for doing so range from full-blown video, such as shown on this slide, to simpler tools like Skype, desktop sharing via instant messaging, and even conference calling on the telephone. On the web, this functionality comes in two essential varieties. There's open participation, when the entire group can edit what they see on the screen, and there's mediated participation, when the attendees can only read and comment on what they see while the organizer makes the edits and shares them for all to enjoy. Today's ability to easily incorporate video and voice, and often for free to boot, has taken these concepts to a new level, whereby people now actually forego business travel in order to have face-to-face -face meetings. Especially with a fast enough connection, the experience is remarkably real, and thanks to inexpensive consumer enablers like iPhones and iPads, it's charging hard to the center of the collaboration landscape. This module is one of two to discuss the major enabling collaboration technologies. In it, we reviewed shared workspaces, wikis, and virtual conferencing. If you haven't already, you may next wish to review the module that covers voice over IP, social networking, blogs and microblogs, and social sharing. And if you have, you may prefer to view the module on core functionality. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org certification. Thank you.